day. Today we're going to do lesson plan number seven, grade three, term two. Um, the topic is numbers 200 to 300. Um, it also links to worksheet 41 in your DBE book. Um, I'm just quickly going to show you that so you can also use the worksheet in your DBE book. Um, let's then go back. So the lesson plan here is then the links to the CAPS document. Um, and then here you can pause your video to see which resources do you need and what is the dictionary word for today. Um, just a reminder again, children don't or learners don't have to study the definition. It's more to help you to understand and to help them with the lesson. So let's start with the daily routine. So the daily routine we go to ask um, whose birthday is it today? Um, what is the date? What is the time? How does the weather look outside? Show me left, right, up, down. Do this physically with them. So again, left, right, up, down, right, left, up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right. Um, and then lastly, we're going to ask who's absent. That can be in the school context, in the classroom, um, but otherwise you can ask if there's any family members. So let's then look at the counting. The counting is then the number range is 0 to 500. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to count things. But what we're going to do is we give a value to a thing. So if we're going to count, for instance, the chairs, a value of a chair is 10. So at home, what you're going to do is you could say one biscuit equals to 10. So let's count the biscuits. 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, then what we can see, say is, um, well done. Um, we can count in tens now, but let's start from 400. So we're going to count 400, 410, 420, and carry on like that. So any numbers between 0 and 500. Every time, try to start it with a real-life example, and then what you do is you count in that interval. Um, it's time now to pause the video and you can do similar activities. Welcome back. We're going to do mental mathematics. So what you're going to do is you're going to add these numbers um, mentally. Um, you can give the answer or orally or you can write it down, your child. Uh, just the first one to make it easy. 20 plus 13, let's say 20 plus 10 is 30 plus 3 is 33. Um, go through all of these, pause the video here, um, and do these sums. Welcome back. I'm going to reveal and show you the answers. And what you will notice here is, in many cases, what we did is we put the larger number first. Um, I didn't tell it before the time because I want to ask you and ask your child what did they do. If they didn't do that, um, you can pause the video again and let them add it up now by placing the, the bigger number first and ask them if it's easier to do it that way. So it's time to pause. Welcome back. Let's quickly carry on then. So the concept development today is we're going to look at base 10 blocks. So the base 10 blocks, um, here we got a block that's got 100 little cubes in. Um, at this stage, we're not going to count the individual blocks anymore, but we're going to say 100, 200, 300. So we've got 300 blocks here. Um, we're also going to read numbers. So um, you can just show the child these numbers and ask them to read it. So let's, I'm going to read the first one, and then you're going to pause, and they're going to read the rest. 267. You can also write the numbers on a board or a bigger piece of paper. So pause and read the rest. Well done. Let's then go and look at the next numbers. So these numbers here, you're going to write on a piece of paper. You're going to write it from the smallest to the biggest. Pause. Now we're going to write these from the biggest to the smallest. Pause. 
Welcome back. What we have here is we have a number board. Um, those parents that's creative, you can easily um, create this in Excel um, or nothing wrong um, with you can help your child to draw some blocks. Maybe you got a, a book with blocks at home and they can write the number board on here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to ask them to show 215 on the board and 220. Which numbers are in between or between these numbers? Then we're going to do the same. We're going to find 299 and 296. Which numbers are in between? And then we're going to do the same with 234 and 239. Find the numbers in between. Pause the video at this stage and then do these activities again. Welcome back. So what we're going to do is we can ask now the learners to give us any five numbers that's in sequence. And then just read it from the smallest to the biggest and then the biggest to the smallest. Okay, well done. So let's go to the next part. So I want you to look at these five numbers. You can also identify them on the number board by pausing. And then what you're going to do is you can take these numbers and you're going to write it from the smallest to the biggest. Pause. And now we're going to write it from the biggest to the smallest. Pause. Let's look at the different levels. So at the different levels, um, if your children struggled with this, you can use the base 10 blocks. You can contact us to send you the drawings of this, or you can use the cutouts from your DBE book. So here, what we're going to do is we can build numbers with these blocks and we're going to read it. On your representative level, you can also write these numbers on a number line from 200 to 300, counting in tens, and ask them to identify the numbers. You can also point to certain of these numbers and ask which number is bigger and which number is smaller. If I've got 220 and I need to count to 300, how will I count in tens? So what you can do is you can draw this number line or let them draw it. Um, it was found that if children draw their own number lines, they understand it better. And then you can ask questions around it. We want to use words like smaller, bigger, next, in sequence. Now the child is ready to do the worksheet. So let's go to the worksheet. So the worksheet is then questions on things that we already done. They're going to complete number lines and they're going to write numbers from the smallest to the biggest. And then they're going to write numbers in words. Remember, if there's not enough space, do it in their writing books. So the problem solving then is levels one to three. So if you can go to levels one to three again, and we're going to scroll down, there's a problem. Remember the first the problem here is where they can use resources like the base 10 blocks to solve it. And then what they can do is they can solve it or they can solve it on a number line. Um, or they can just solve it by writing a number sentence and give you the answer. Then let's go to the last part of this lesson is the consolidation where questions are asked. If you got tick all of them yes, you carry on to the next lesson. If there are some no's, you re revise or revisit certain um, concepts um, or you contact us for support.